All right, so we're just going to do some transitions, so some flying mounts, dismounts. Um, obviously, it's my first race of the year, so being that I've not done a flying mount since like November, which when we raced Bucks Duathlon. So I've just been out with the squad and we've just done some together, but now I'm going to get some extra. Put in the <laughs> rule number one always bring more elastics <laughs> than what you need to race because they're going to snap. So I'm just tying each side on here. So this is how I try and set up transition. Um, you want your rack go to hold your bike. So you got to imagine that that's mounted onto a rack and you've got your elastics. And what you want ideally is that your shoes, that the tabs are all open ready so that when you mount on, you can put your feet straight in. Uh, obviously you put your, your fluid and then I always have my helmet set up like this, just slightly over my Garmin. So, so that I know that left hand here, right hand, right here, and I just put straight on and then I just grab my bike and go. Then when I come back, it's important with the shoes to have the tabs wide open like this so that when you come, you can just slide your foot straight in, left, and then go. Go. I'm gonna do round two, second try. And I just thought of a, a second tip to give you guys, and that's uh, when you do hop onto your bike, you wanna sprint, like you wanna get as much speed as you can. Like you don't wanna be faffing with your shoes straight away because you're gonna be slowing down, losing loads of speed. What you wanna do is you put your shoes just in your shoe ideally, sprint 100 meters up the road and then start buckling your latch and you know, doing whatever you've gotta do on the, with, you know, the straps on the shoes, but that's that. Mark's car. Wednesday, three days until swim day, four days till bike and run day. We had an early morning swim, and then now I'm just doing two hours aerobic with 10 minutes at LT2, which is roughly 310, 320 watts, which is below race pace. Obviously race pace, when it's short course, isn't a set watt, it's whatever the pack is doing, it's demanding. So if you need to do 1,000 watts, you do 1,000 watts, it's really difficult to train for, but yeah, just get a bit of lactate, and yeah, the plan is come off this and recreate a brick run. So usually you get off this and you run out on pavement, but I'm looking after myself at the moment. I'm just coming back from Shenzhen, so I'm going to be coming off this, putting on my super squishy comfy shoes, and jumping on the treadmill at the gym. Going on, probably doing five minutes jog, one minute walk, two minutes jog, one minute walk, like that. Jog walk, I'm in that stage, uh, really looking after myself, so I cannot afford to get re injured. So, yeah, just get off and get ready to go to the gym. So, on indoor, on indoor sessions, no matter if it's cold outside, I do find I always I sweat, you obviously sweat a lot more, so I'm just gonna make sure I get a lot of electrolytes. So I put some carbs in there, I'm using the, that one at the moment. And I'll also have my shaker, whey protein, ready for afterwards, so that I get replenishing straight after. That's the one thing I'd say on race week. Um, because, because it's short course, I mean, you do want to carb load, I'd say, but you, you never want to fast, because you want you want to replenish your, your glycogen stores, you know, you want to be well fed at all times. So I'm making sure that as soon as I finish the session, I'll have a shake, 
I have a banana and stuff like that, keep myself fueled. Most important thing is that I put my new insoles in here. Also pairing them up with the new New Balance Small V4s. Really cushiony, spongy shoe. So hopefully, fingers crossed, no more injuries. Did anyone ask for a postman? <laughs> Bulk. We've got a two and a half kilo bag of malted extra in. So it's pure carbohydrate powder. It's, uh, yeah, just carbs so that for racing, really. And then in here, something a bit more interesting for us triathletes. And for the Moby five piece brush set, it was only like 15 pounds. So I got these sets, you get like one, like for the frame and everything. Look how nice that is. That is satisfying. We've got one for like the cassette and all the oily bits. And this is for the wheel, for the tire, tire and rims and hubs, so that you can just really get in there. And then this is for wheels. I guess I think it's a wheel brush, sponge and gritty. So I might go like this for the carbon, this for the uh, for the tire rubber, and then... <laughs> 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 this is for the wheels again. Okay, um, so I'm gonna get so you get one frame brush and then five wheel brushes, uh, and then I got uh, I got a uh, I don't have a small bottle for racing. So this is gonna be my race day, black black frame, black bottle, half a litre for, for the frame. And then- Just so that Mon really can't spot him, right? So that Mon really pocket. can't tell who I am. And then I got an, a second one litre bottle because I'm going to Lanza soon. Disc brake cleaner. Cause it turns out, I didn't know this cause I'm new to disc brakes, but you don't ever want to touch disc brakes with your fingers because it gets like polluted, so oil, you never want to clean it with anything that isn't disc brake cleaner. This is for the rotors as well as in the calipers. Today's Thursday, we're two days out from race day. So uh, I just went for a swim, um, judging by the tiredness. Uh, and we did a prep sets. So we did like a bunch of eight time fifties, sprints, like maintaining speed, yeah. Today, I need to get my shit together because I don't want to leave it all till the last day. Uh, today, I'm going to clean my bike, pick up my tri suit, uh, get my bits together, start packing for camping. And yeah, the main thing on race week is to be organized. So this is my sort of diary notepad. I have everything in here and it's really important. So first off, I've got my my race calendar for the summer planned out. So I've got April, May, June, July, August, da da da. And then the important thing is that these last two weeks I have detailed as Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, da, da, da. And then, so I know that each day of the week, I know if I've got things to do, chores are down here. And then I have this. It doesn't look organized, but to me it is. So Thursday, I've got to jog. I've got pack for my camping, pick up my tri suit, things like that. It's all here. And I know what I've got to do Friday. And then Saturday, Sunday, I have exclusively to race and I don't mix it up with anything else. I also have to go to work today from 5.30 p.m. until 11 p.m. because I need the money to afford all of this. I forgot to say, by the way, so that your girlfriend, wife, boyfriend, whatever, uh, allows you to spend all your money on stuff like this, when your wiggle parcel comes with one of these, you have to immediately <laughs> give it to your girlfriend or boyfriend. You have to, like, that's the rule. That's why Wiggle has done that on purpose. Wiggle puts the Haribos in the box so that you can get away with buying what you actually want and then you give them what they think they want. <laughs> right, so I just come to pick up my brand new printed tri suit. Um, I had this ordered about a week ago, so obviously 
to be able to race and be able to race here in British Super Series, you need World Triathlon logo. And then I've got my name, surname, GBR, the ball wetsuits, car edge. And on the back, it's night GBR. I've got staining on here from when I went out on a bike ride. It was muddy. But uh, so yeah, this is the official race suit of 2023. What do you think, Molly? I love it. You like it? I like the Loughborough colours, like the purple. I yeah, like it looks it. clean. Really, really proud of that. Right, I'm going to start this recording by saying, do not do this. It creates more hassle than is necessary. But unfortunately, we live three floors up and we have no, uh, we have no access to a hose outside. So I'm cleaning my bike in the shower. Not that Monique agrees with this, but this is, has to be done. Um, it's not overly dirty, but if you can just see here, Pass me up, please, Mike. Just see here, it is dirty and he's doing it. It's race day, so we can't have a black chain on race day. So, as I've got a little bit of time, I'm not working until the next few couple of hours. So, yeah, I got my, I just named it my shiny bike bucket and it's got all my good stuff in it. So, we're going to start off with some bike cleaner concentrate. Then, we've got the muck off chain cleaner drivetrain cleaner, then we've got our new disc brake cleaner, and we've got our bike protect for later, and then we've got some chain lube. I'm not gonna put this one on, I've actually got some wax chain lube, and then we've got a polishing cloth. First thing I'm gonna do, get a bit of this good stuff, put it in here, and we're gonna fill this up. Nice and warm. So it's actually warm water, which helps. It definitely helps loosen up all the tough bits. So first thing, spray it down. Just get this dry chain, get everything here. Don't be stingy. I had to, I hung the bike up by the handlebars. Drive train. See, that's why I don't like putting it in the shower. I'm quite nice with you. Um, yeah, we've got this nice soapy. We're going to use our fresh spanky brush. This is the wheel, the one of four wheel brushes. I'm using the soft side. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. And that's beautiful. Nice soapy on there. This is the first time I've treated myself to proper brushes, and I'm not going to lie. As a kid. I used to like make baskets on Wiggle. I don't know if anybody else did this, but I used to make like dream baskets of things I wanted to buy off Wiggle. And things like bike brushes, muck off cleaners, that would always be on there, but I never had the money as a kid to buy it. So I always just dreamt of it. Then I'm gonna use this one that I can't remember the name of in there. And then this is what I, what I explained was good. So you can get that, that middle thing, which is really annoying to clean in the middle, so the, the hub body, like that. You can always get the spokes as well. I'm just gonna clean the, sort of the loose stuff off the disc rotors, but then I'm gonna come through later with a cloth and clean them properly with the disc brake cleaner. So I am, I know I did say earlier, don't use anything to clean these, but obviously, like mock off the frame cleaner will be okay for a little bit, but it might leave a little oily, a residue on top, so I will go back and clean it with proper stuff. Right, I put the front wheel back on because it was wobbling too much. So the good thing about this brush is it just gets absolutely everywhere. In. I'm just going to work my way from the from the top to the bottom. So just as a before and after, this is the chain now, and this is the after. Just re put the cleaner again through the chain brush and give it a good scrub. Oh, as you can see there, it's already coming off.
All right guys, so I won't bore you with a full in-depth cleaning video, but if you guys would be interested in seeing how I do one, then a proper one, then I may do a video like that. Just ask me for it, that'd be, I think that might be something quite interesting. But yeah, let's just get to the clean bike. Okay, so here's the finished product. Ready to race. Pristine. And this is why you don't clean your bike in the summer. Hey, Molly. Yeah. Right, well, that is the end of that. So it's just short of 11 p.m. And I've just finished up my shift here. What I do basically is uh, I lifeguard here at the pool. So this is something that I've done since September is I decided, right, I kind of need some supplemental income. My aim is sort of to do 10 hours a week so I can more, more or less do 10 hours. So I more or less know I can supplement 100 quid a week, which then can help with all my expenses. Obviously triathlon for me at this level isn't paying yet. Um, I get some student finance with ju which just about covers my rent and a little bit of utilities, but even then I still have to supplement. I have to get money to pay for my phone, water, electric, Wi-Fi, and not only that, but also bits of my bike, racing, British triathlon membership. You guys know what it's like. If you're triathletes, it's really expensive. And uh, yeah, I since I came to the UK, I've tried my hardest to not, rely on my mum specifically for money uh, obviously i'm 22 years old now like i've got a, i've got to pull this shit out of the bag so yeah uh sometimes that means sacrificing my recovery i have to maybe train a little bit less recover a little bit best but at the end of the day you know this is my uh this is my story and i'm quite proud of it uh you know i'm working away working hard and uh this weekend really excited for this weekend uh, gonna go out there hungry. I really want to prove them guys what I've got um, Feeling so much better than last year and previous years. So yeah, that's just a little that is the end of Thursday Like I said almost 11 p.m. I'm off home time to unwind and I'll see you guys tomorrow So yeah, hey guys, so it is Friday today, which means race day tomorrow and Sunday Uh I, uh, we just reviewed the footage from last night in the car after work. And I'm not gonna lie, I sounded really depressed. I'm really sorry about that. I was just uh, just finished work and I was hungry, tired, and I wanted to go to bed. So that's that. Training wise, I went for a swim. We did a prep set. We did um, we did some 50s, and yeah. And I've just been for a little jog on the treadmill. So that's me done for today. I'm just off to Sainsbury's now. We're gonna pick up some food so that when we finish racing, we've got some food ready for the weekend. And yeah, that's that. It's currently Saturday morning, which means it, today is race day. If I haven't explained it before, it's I'm doing national performance assessments. So for triathlon, so our racing is split into Saturday and Sunday. A Saturday today is gonna to consist of an 800 meter swim. And then Sunday is gonna be a 20K bike followed by a 5K run straight off. And then whoever wins concludes. And then from there, we'll get our start list and we'll get our positioning and which races we'll be allowed to do over the summer. Uh, so yeah, I really hope that by making this vlog for you guys, you guys get an understanding of what us triathletes get up to on race week. Obviously, it's pretty simple, like um, like the majority of the training is pretty easy. Uh, and the reason for this is because, you know, the general workload, the heavy workload has already been put in. We've put in the hard work over winter. We've grinded out winter. We're finally out. It's April the 1st and uh, sunny weather is on the way. But yeah, I really hope that you guys have enjoyed this vlog and I hope to see you on YouTube very soon. Thank you.